starting out with some breaking news coming in this morning. Indian ambassador to the United States, Navtej Sarna, has raised the hate crimes issue with the U.S. administration. He has conveyed his deep concerns over the recent incidents of shootout and attacks on Indian nationals in the United States. My colleague, Foreign Affairs Editor Geeta Mohan now joins me on the phone line. Geeta, what are the details of uh, this correspondence that the U.S. ambassador had, the Indian ambassador to the United States, I beg your pardon, had with uh, the U.S. administration? Well, Pauline, Ambassador Naftej Sarna has raised it with the U.S. authorities. Uh, they are Indian Americans. They are Americans of Indian origin. And hence, there is only that much that uh, that uh, the Indian embassy can do. Uh, but the fact is that the Indian community being attacked and Indian community being, uh, 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 being uh, uh, racially abused are the reasons why we see the Indian uh, the, the um, the, the reason why we see Polony that the Indian embassy has kicked in and the Indian mission is taking up the matter with the U.S. authorities, the, the, the Indian mission is also in touch with the family members and is in touch with the victim, uh, the last victim of Sri Prai, and, and uh, uh, has extended all sorts of help to the family members and to the Indian community. Uh, it is, uh, the, and, and most of the uh, people we've been speaking to, the Indian community, people we've been speaking to, have have, have, have been of the view, Polymy, that uh, the recent uh, statements and speeches uh, from the top leadership in the United States of America could be one of the reasons why there is uh, uh, there is a growing uh, uh, the, there are growing cases and incidents of hate crimes in the United States of America, and hence it is a concern. And the Indian ambassador to the United States of America has raised it with the U.S. authorities. Uh, we do not really have any uh, confirmation or or details on what is it that uh, the State Department has done or said in terms of assurances and what is it that they're really going to do on the ground. There is only that much that can be done to control crime. Uh, and uh, and uh, uh, one of the cases was an act of crime is what is being said and not a case of hate crime. So we will have to wait and see what the U.S. administration really does uh, to ensure that there is some sort of safety uh, and security for the Indian community and people of other races as well in the United States of America. Right. Gita, and these are several such incidents that are coming to light back to back. Uh, how is the Indian American community uh, feeling about their situation in the United States now after President Trump's ascension to the White House? Well, there has been a lot of community work that is going on right now. We see Indian community members getting together. Uh, there are sessions that they're holding on how to be careful, how to be safe. Uh, yesterday, the Kent Police uh, Department also held a briefing. It was a, uh, it was a long, uh, it was a scheduled briefing over a month ago that scheduled this meeting. Uh, but that meeting had to do with community work. It ended up becoming a meeting of, uh, uh, and then the Kent Police briefing them on how to be aware and keep themselves safe. So it is a little sad, Paul, me to see that where uh, there could have been a lot of community work that could have been discussed here. The Kent Police now is discussing how to keep safe, how to be safe, and uh, awareness programs is what the community members uh, are looking at. They're also looking at not just awareness or in terms of being safe and keeping safe for the Indian community, but also sensitization of all community members. Right. And also, uh, the Minister for External Affairs, Sushma Swaraj, also broke her silence over these growing incidents of alleged and suspected hate crimes in the United States against uh, Indian nas uh, U.S. nationals of Indian origin. What does she have to say? Well, uh, so all of them are being very careful, uh, follow me. In the past, we would have seen not just condemnation, but also seeking justice and demanding justice from any any country for that matter. But this time around, they are trying to engage the Trump administration, trying to un make the new Trump administration, the new administration in U.S., understand India's concerns. And hence, uh, they've not gone beyond 
beyond just talking about the fact that they're concerned about these growing incidents of hate crime and nothing beyond that. So we haven't seen a very strong statement come from the Indian side also. Uh, we're looking at change in policies in the United States of America, uh, which also is leading to uh, uh, people, with the, the, the white supremacists, so to say, gaining strength in taking law into their own hands, uh, allowing themselves the space to heckle, to uh, to verbally abuse uh, the, the racial slurs and verbal brawls that we've seen or uh, captured on video are clear evidences that there is a problem that exists within the United States of America, but it also exists because of the kind of statements that are being made by the top leadership. And the Indian community we were speaking with are also concerned about that aspect, that, uh, that the top leadership will have to stop talking about uh, uh, about uh, and, and there could be policy changes, but we'll have to stop talking about races and we'll have to stop talking about how it is only about all Americans and America is only about all Americans. Right. Uh, and that is certainly a problem. Uh, but India is being very cautious and careful. So yes, Sushma Swaraj has come out and expressed concern. But uh, beyond that, we've not seen a very strong statement come from the Indian side. Right. Rita, thank you so much for your perspective on that story. The attacks on Indians, of course, in the United States continues. Now, a 39-year-old Sikh man, Deep Rai, has been shot and injured in Washington State, allegedly by a white racist man. Three days ago, 43-year-old Hanish Patel was shot dead in front of his home in South Carolina. An Indian origin girl has been racially abused in a train in New York, and we all know what happened to Indian techie Srinivas Kuchibotla in Kansas. This is the first incident um, of this magnitude that I'm aware of uh, in the city of Kent. Kent Police Chief Ken Thomas says so far, the investigation looks like a hate crime against the sick community. Today, investigators went door to door looking for clues. The shooting happened Friday night at 8. The police chief said the shooter approached a 39-year-old sick man while he worked on his vehicle in his 108th Avenue driveway. Confronted by a subject, some comments were made uh, to the effect of get out of our country, go back to where you're from, and our victim was then shot. The victim was shot in the arm. The police chief expects him to make it. So this morning when I woke up, it was very disheartening to see the news. Sutwinder Kaur is a local religious leader. She and several other Sikh community members joined the press conference. It's hard to see somebody from your community being a victim of a hate crime. I mean, I, I've been here a long time, and we haven't seen something happening at this level. Police tried to calm the community's concerns this afternoon in a meeting at City Hall. And you come in, we teach you how to run and set up a block watch and communicate with us. So it was really shocking. Sutwinder says her community is shaken, but she hopes this message spreads instead of fear. Um, don't be scared. Just because we've been through one incident, doesn't it shouldn't hold us back who have now come out and they are trying to create this fear and hate among communities and against minorities this needs to be tackled severely strongly and immediately we cannot wait and uh, the, all the minority communities especially the Sikh community which is um, conspicuously uh, can be recognized and be mistaken. We are very concerned as a community that we need to uh, have the leadership of this country, the political leadership, leadership to come out strongly and speak against this kind of hateful acts. The country needs uh, leadership in the terms of uh, this moment when there's a lot of attacks on the immigrants. And it, this moment is a little bit scarier than the 9-11 because now, of course 9-11 there was a lot of ignorance and right now people have been educated who six are and who what Indian community has been bringing to the uh, the American environment, the whole technology sector. There's a lot of backlash which is going on against the Sikhs and the Indian community. Whereas uh, you know we want to probably make sure that the government is a a strong force behind condemning these attacks which have been happening in a way that I think is really critical for South Asians to, to recognize that you know we need to work together we can't just silo off into just Hindu or just Indian but really recognize that there is this much broader based coalition of organizations and communities 
that we need to keep connecting with. And I think Saba has been really trying to be at the forefront of that and making sure that we're that we're reaching across reaching across the aisle, connecting with our sister organizations, uh, ensuring that we have a larger voice together. In yet another incident of hate crimes against people of Indian origin in the United States of America, 39-year-old uh, Sikh man identified as Deep Rai has been shot right outside his house in Kent City in Washington. Well, Deep Rai is out of danger and that's the information that has been shared by External Affair Minister Sushma Suraj on Twitter. Well, this is not the only incident wherein a person of Indian origin has been attacked in United States of America. Last month, only an Indian origin engineer was shot dead in Kansas City by a U.S. Navy veteran. However, we've seen that how statements have been issued uh, from the president's house itself, wherein it's been said that hate and evil in all, all forms is condemnable, yet we are seeing that how people of Indian origin are being attacked in various parts of United States, and this has created a sense of fear amongst the people of Indian diaspora living in the United States of America since last several decades. This is Vijay Lakshmi with camera person Jeet Indra Bahira for News X from Delhi. It is very disturbing. We condemn these acts. And at the same time, the government of India and the Ministry of External Affairs is seized of the matter. And whatever is required to be done uh, from the government of India in consultation with the U.S. government, the government of India is doing it. I'm afraid it's creating a great ethnic cleavage. America is a melting pot of immigrants from many parts of the world. The Indian community in America is a vibrant one which has contributed greatly to the American story. Now we are seeing that as a consequence of the xenophobia, Indians are being repeatedly attacked and that too fatally. This matter needs to be taken up seriously and at the highest level by India in order to restore the confidence of the Indian community in America. Nasli Hinsaka Bharatiya Shikar Horehe or Bharatke Pradhan Mantri Chuname Mashgulhe Videsh Mantra Lesebi Koi Sak Sandes Trump Prasasan Kornijara. How is it that the Prime Minister can actually pick up a phone and tell Mr. Trump not to tell his foot soldiers what he's not able to tell his foot soldiers in India? The murder of Akhlaq is the same as the murder of any of these in the United States. It's no different. It's the same hatred. It's the same, uh, you know, psychosis that is built. It's the same uh, looking at various issues, whether Akhlaq was blamed for beef or these people were blamed for destroy destroying the American life or getting out of their nation. By and large, it comes out of a bigoted, uh, uh, you know, very, very fascist mentality. So would uh, Modi be able to rise above his own, um, you know, core ideology and tell Mr. Trump not to be what Trump is? मैं तो कहूंगा कि दुखद है बहुत ही दुखदाई है कि हमारे परिवार के लोग हमारे भारतीय लोगों के साथ ऐसे संकट से उनको गुजरना पड़ रहा है ऐसे निशंस और इस तरीके से और कुछ हो सकता है गलतफहमी के शिकार हों कुछ और समझ के कुछ और लोगों ने वार कर दिया हो लेकिन जो भी हुआ वो तो बहुत दुखद है दर्दनाक है अब मैं तो यही अपने सरकार से और ट्रंप सरकार से अनुरोध ही कर सकता हूं कि ऐसे मामले की जांच पड़ताल हो इनको सही मुआवजा मिले और साथ ही साथ ऐसा वातावरण पैदा हो कि आगे ऐसी कोई घटना न घटे। Feelings are now coming to the fore that America is for white people. Why are these Asian people, the Indians, etc., are coming and taking away our opportunities and jobs? Until and unless the foreign policy of India becomes proactive, Prime Minister Modi makes it a very assertive stand. Uh, in front of the President of America, then President of America must make it very clear to his people that we will not allow such a thing to happen. Until this happens and he takes very stern steps, I'm afraid the Indian uh, people, the people of Indian origin are going to face very difficult times.